everything here, everything's basically where I remember it to be, so it's it's lovely. I want to talk to you about the album Aphrodite because it's just it's just ripping everybody up at the moment. But what everyone wants to know about is that first meeting with Ethan. Oh, it was just it was beautiful. He had um he just woken up, he was getting ready to have a bath. Um well, I can share a funny story with you. I, I'm sure Chris and Danny won't mind. Um, Ethan was just they were preparing him for the bath, and, I, and Dan said, "Go on, have a little nudie cuddle because it's just you know he's so tiny and precious and beautiful." And uh, so I did that, and then uh, I said, "I'll take him through to the bathroom," which I did, carried him through there. And Chris has his towel, just a towel wrapped around him. And I thought, oh, that's okay. It's because he's just got up. And uh, so we're having a chat in the bathroom. I'm thinking, oh, the bath is right. That's a lot of water for a little baby. But, you know, jet lag, no common sense. Um, then I suddenly realized, oh, oh, you're going in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. That's why I've got a towel around you. I'll just take out of the bathroom. <laughs> he's just beautiful. Let's talk about work a little bit, because mm. I know you're going to be working tonight on Hey Hey It's Saturday. Yeah. Aphrodite's had incredible success since it's been launched. You mm. knocked Eminem off, you know, number one in the UK, which mm. is incredible. Did you know you were on a winner with this album? It felt like it could be something special. And the songs uh, are strong, they seem empowered, mm. you seem all... That's mad, that's the first time we've seen Kylie Minogue on Australian TV, and I've been here nine months. In life at the moment. Yeah. She's interviewed on the I news. That's like why they resonate with, with me and with, um, with the audience, because uh, it's, it's, it's where I am. I'm in a pretty happy place. 